What's up, YouTube? Mini Mancino here, and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. Last time we started playing as Jeff over here. Excuse me one moment, I need to adjust a wire temporarily. And there, hopefully that didn't make too much noise. I apologize if it did. But yeah, last time we started playing as Jeff, we met the Bubble Monkey, escaped from uh, Snowwood Boarding House, not necessarily in that order, and we ended up here. We haven't really talked to the um, people here at the lake, so we might as well do that. Also, I've noticed there have been people, uh, new people coming over to the channel, so hi, hello, welcome, thank you for stopping by. And, uh, hope you stick around. Um, <laughs> let's see what these people have to say here. Uh, Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. Um, I personally think so. Why would Tessie? Alright. Nobody's in the woods, buddy. <laughs> Those are some small woods. Maybe he means, like, this whole giant area. I saw no such mythical creature, sir! I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. And he sneezes. <laughs> I feel like I'm catching a cold. That's unfortunate, sir. Um, let's talk to everybody outside before we investigate the tents. Um, <laughs> sadly, last time I was here, um, we came, or I, I kind of came and did that video, particularly so I could save, but I also wanted to make, like, a proper video, so, you know. Um... These people are mainly talking about Tessie, so this is basically uh, Loch Ness, or I guess Lake Ness. But, you know, since Ness is already a thing, it's Tess. So, you know, there's that. Um, <laughs> so these guys are talking about all kinds of things about how, how Tessie will appear and things like that. What tent was this? Is this the one? What is this one? Um, I'm the cook for the Tessie, uh, Tessie Watching Club. How about some, uh, how about some soup? Not right now, actually. We will do that in a moment. Uh, but I want to see what the other tents have to offer before we rest, because something amazing will occur. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so apparently there's only this guy in here. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? Um, I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. I mean... Sure, if it turns out to be real, dude. Because I remember, uh, I think there was, like, the whole, like, controversy with, with the Loch Ness Monster where it turned out to actually be, like, a toy or whatever. So, you know, that would be unfortunate if that was the case, sir. But, you know, if it's not, then, yeah, probably you'll end up in... That would be crazy news that a giant mythical creature lives somewhere. But you know what? Now that we've talked to him and just pretty much spoke to everybody here, I didn't read all the text... I showed it off at least, so, you know, there's that. But, you know, we're gonna go ahead and take a rest, because it is the middle of the night after all, and uh, I sort of left without letting Jeff rest, so, uh, whoops. Um, <laughs> I'm the cook here. Uh, how about some stew? Yes, please. You know, there's no need to pay me. Oh, what a nice dude. Like, that's actually really nice. War um, oh, another, another call from Paula, it seems. You are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff, head south, working on it. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Again, working on it. Also, um, apparently also working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. So I think that just temporarily increases your defense by like one or something. Temporarily, anyway. This music also... It's really kind of nice. It's just like another version of the hotel one, but it's just like softer. It's really strange that it plays that here, actually. But, um... I guess that's about the entire loop. It's a very small loop. I can't get past you. I don't know why I want to get past you, but we're gonna go out here! and see what the world has to offer in the daylight. I'm surprised no search party has come around for Jeff. But the wind is certainly blowing, and I'm sure actually the wind is blowing in, in uh, real life today, because it's kind of stormy. We've heard rumblings of thunder happening, so I'm kind of recording, hoping, hoping, hoping <laughs> that uh, no crazy shit happens. So that's kind of a 
thing because I also want to start recording for another project, but I'll get into that a little bit later. I thought there was like a cutscene happening and I didn't realize that I could move, so whoops. Uh, let's see what these people have to say. Sir! Um, maybe that whirlpool is... There's a whirlpool? Hold up. Let's talk to you. What a cute little monkey! Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. This one does. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for! Finally! It's coming out! For Excuse me. <laughs> Jesse is emerging. <laughs> oh, I know it's immature, but sometimes I find fart humor amusing. <laughs> Ooh, we've got the photo guy. Yay. <laughs> I sort of came into this video with like a slightly weird mood, so like I apologize if my commentary is a little bit off today. It's kind of unfortunate. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Boom. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Yay! And he's gone again. <laughs> Alright, so a nice quick photo stop. Um, I heard that the world is always- or the world. The wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. <laughs> the world is always blowing. Alright, me. Jeez. You know it's like a weird day when I, I can't read properly. And he's still sneezing. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Okay, so he says the same thing as yesterday. Um, Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the- Like, he's just- There's a whirlpool happening in the lake, sir. You want to turn around, maybe? Like, right here? See that? See that? Oh, hey! Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. He's just so, like... Weird about it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to make of the bubble monkey, if I'm honest. <laughs> but here comes the one, the only, Tessie. The Loch Tess Monster. The purple shellless Lapras. The adorable sock pup. I don't know what to call her. <laughs> Either way, here we are once again. I remember doing my first uh, attempt at this LP and being here just going like, oh, the music's awesome, which it is. The music's always awesome. Like, I don't know, if you're ever, ever questioning the music in Earthbound, don't. Because it's always awesome. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I did mention another project, actually, uh, not too long ago, and I feel like maybe now's a good time, decent time to go into it. Um, for those who are new, back in the wintertime, I participated in an open community project hosted by... Rock, Paper, Mario, and Good Entertainment called Winter's Elementary. Um, the summer before, they did something called Summertime Radness. So this summer, it's Summertime Radness 2, the scary sequel. So it's kind of based on scary games and stuff like that. And it's going from June 2nd, which was yesterday as of this recording, until September 2nd. I intend, like my desire, I guess is to make a video for every Tuesday and have everything else just be normal. So you'll have one less Earthbound video until the project is done, unless I don't have a video for that particular week, in which case it'll just be normal. Um, I intend for it to interfere with the project as or Earthbound as little as possible, uh, with the exception of that one day. But yeah, it should be kind of interesting. So. If I'm able to, I'll be able to have my first contribution to uh, Summertime Radness, the scary sequel, tomorrow. Because I'm uploading this on, I think, the 4th. So that would be tomorrow. I think today's the 3rd. I don't even know what day it is. This is awful. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get some stuff dealt with and done. And it should be kind of neat. It should be an interesting experience, because I don't normally delve into scarier games. Also, Jeff is level 4, so that's a thing. And I forgot to read the sign, so let's do that. Welcome to my, uh... Welcome to my modest dungeon. 
Signed, Brick Road. Don't quite know. My wire is getting caught in everything, and I really don't like that, because I feel like that's going to make all kinds of unwanted noise in the recording. Ugh. Gross. I'm not good at editing. I will admit that right now. I'm not good at it. Um, I'm going to stop complaining about that, though, because I just fixed it. So it's fine. A bread roll. Jeff takes it. Usually I take all those damn cookies from uh, Tony's friend's room, but this time I did not. So my inventory is not clogged with cookies that I'm going to get rid of anyway. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're just fighting uh, all kinds of weird enemies here. We've got the Mad Duck this time around. These guys are pretty weird, actually. But we're just going to kind of make our way through here and awesome stuff will happen. Um, but yeah, I've been uh, kind of thinking of what to do for, for the scary sequel. And it's kind of based on either scary games or, you know, parts of games that scared you as a kid or, you know, something something of a spooky nature, uh, depending on how you'd like to justify it kind of deal. If I remember to, I'll put like an info card, uh, like an info thing or a link in the description to the announcement video so you guys can find out more because it is an open uh, community project and you guys can join in if you so choose. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have all the info if you're interested. Oh god, a present's attacking me. And it's not a present. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? And it calls for help. Interesting. These guys aren't hard to beat, though. They pretty much go down super, super easy. Um, but I would have, um, back on the topic of the scary sequel and stuff, it kind of snuck up on me, if I'm honest. <laughs> Because I didn't see the pro the announcement for the project until it had already started, and I was like, oh! Um, well, I guess I'm thinking of stuff now. So, I, I just kind of saw it yesterday, and I was like, oh, uh, alright, so it's already started. And, uh, I got plenty of time, and Jeff died. Awesome! That is what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> oh, jeez. The good thing about Jeff is he does not have any PP. So, you know what? We get to ride Tessie again and see what's up. This is what I get for not paying attention. I get killed by, like, worthless protoplasms. That is that. Oh, he starts off right here. Okay. Uh, I'm good with that, actually. Um, can I get past the tree, please? Oh, hey! A gruff goat. Awesome. <laughs> so... We're gonna go ahead and beat him, I guess. Did Jeff, like... Did Jeff res with, like, full health? I'm not actually sure. Um, I just, like, had to check the time real briefly, though, and that kind of threw me off, so... Whoops! Um... Boom. You know what sucks, though? Is for the project, I'd like to be able to do some DS stuff. And I don't have a proper way to record 3DS, but I don't want to, like, play through half the games on emulators. Ugh. <sighs> Because <laughs> I've already gotten to these parts, so I'm probably going to do some experimenting and see what I can come up with. But let's see about Jeff's health. It would also help if I go to the right uh, thing. Yeah, he's he's kind of at half, half health right now. Um, here we go. And Jeff's HP is maxed out. Awesome. So, we're back at full health. I want to see... Is that... Um... Oh yeah, they're all, they're all gone. Okay, so it weird actually because last time I last time I kept dying and stuff like he would like Ness would respawn where he last saved and stuff I guess it doesn't reset though you just spawn where you last saved so it was kind and decided the edge of the lake was a checkpoint so worthless protoplasm I don't appreciate you taking me down buddy it's kind of not cool um it's a little bit embarrassing if I'm honest um <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. It's kind of- and he's calling for help again. Bubble Monkey, are you going to help me or what? Like, what is happening here? Um, you guys aren't supposed to be this strong. Come on. Go down. Go down, buddy. No. No, no, no. Stop with that shenanigans. Go down. There you go. There it is. And now this guy needs to go down. Can you just not get help? Actually, that'd be amazing. Jeff, can you hit the guy? Jeff's accuracy is kind of crap, if I'm honest. The pop gun, the pop gun really sucks for that. But it's his first weapon, I guess. So you know, uh, it happens, I suppose. 
No! Oh my god! They just keep calling for help! Bubble Monkey! Where are you at, man? I need to heal. Jeff needs to heal. Can, can you please just go down? No? Okay. Um... Broken air gun. I would love it if you fixed that, actually. Pack of bubble gum. Boiled egg, I guess. No, okay, so he didn't he didn't get help. Okay, so Jeff's gonna max out his health. Perfect. And we're just gonna go at him. Boom. Dead. Dead? Yeah. That's dead. That's what I like to see. <laughs> The enemy left a present inside the present. There was a cookie. Eh, useless, but fine. Jeff is now level 6. <gasps> Excuse me. I feel like I should probably grab a drink. But you know what? I really don't feel like getting up. It's kind of unfortunate. But I probably will between videos because I'm going to need one. <laughs> it's kind of warm in here, but that's okay. Um, what do we got in this little box here? The broken iron inside. Jeff takes it. Let's actually eat that cookie. Some of these broken items you kind of want to hang on to if you can help it. So that's pretty much that, I guess. Um, at least for now. Nothing over there, so let's go up here. There's another mad duck over there. Uh, there's a thing over here. Watch out for uh, falling materials. Brick road. So this is like a weird dungeon where he kind of directs you on how to get through it, weirdly enough. I don't know. He's like the, uh, the dungeon developer, I guess. Uh, pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. That's literally twice in one video, I think. <laughs> wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. I don't know why, but I really do like the photo man. <laughs> I know he's kind of, like, random, but I, I like him. I like him a lot. I don't know what it is. Anyway, here's a mad duck, so let's go ahead and beat the crap out of this guy. You going down, buddy? Come on. Come on. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> I could almost do, like, one of those, like, crazy maniacal laughs, but I don't want, like, my microphone to break, because I don't want to be super loud. <laughs> And yet, sometimes I am loud. A cris Wait, is that a croissant? Yeah, it is. That's totally a croissant. Croissants are amazing. They're one of my favorite things. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite things. Actually, my favorite favorite things, one of my favorite 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 things, like dessert-wise and treat-wise, is tiramisu. And like we had, my boyfriend and I got one at uh, at the grocery store the other day because they have this little bakery section. And uh, we got this tiramisu and it was just, oh my god. It was so creamy and delicious and it had like cocoa powder on top and like those ladyfinger cookies around the edge of it. So it was just, oh, it was heaven. And we got like, we got a nice like basically big cake of it. Um, essentially is what we got. And it just, oh, so so delicious. It was definitely um, not the same as the ones I grew up with, like, where my family would make them and stuff. Um, I think it may have had like amaretto in it. Because um, my family would normally make it without without booze or anything like that, because the kids would eat it, and it was so good. Um, but just, I don't know. The way, the way they made it, it was different from this. But this was very 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 delicious i don't know <laughs> my family would make all kinds of desserts actually like we get we get like egg pudding and stuff like that it's really weird that stuff actually um portuguese desserts man they're so strange what did i actually get i don't know uh oh a stun gun okay uh weapon what does that bring me up to offense from 22 to 30 i will absolutely take that actually um, that air, that, uh, pop gun's gonna have to go. Uh, we got, what do we got here? We got a phone, hello, hello. Nice little labs here. Uh, would you like me to keep a record of your journey? You know what, I'm gonna say no, actually. Just because I don't want things to screw up in the recording, and if they do, I'm not screwed out of a whole dungeon. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Um, maybe it was too easy. My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I was totally right. <laughs> I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Um, well, uh, by combining my skills and Dr. Endonut's intelligence. I can become a Dungeon Man! The first in a uh, combination of human and dungeon in history. Uh, let's, in let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Uh, would you like to get a good night's rest? I would, actually. Even though it's like the middle of the day or whatever. Either way, healing is awesome. How are we doing for time, actually? This is actually the perfect place to stop. Alright, awesome. So, we went through uh, Brick Road's little dungeon here. And it actually says Brick Road on that sign. That's awesome. But, um, yeah, guys. We're going to go ahead and continue heading south in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, Mini out.